Hi, my name is Anna, and welcome to my first YouTube video. <laughs> hey, finally, I did it. <laughs> I'm from Philippines, so this is my first vlog ever. So welcome to my vlog. <laughs> please do subscribe and hit that like button and please comment. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Yes, so the topic of today is about my life here in France. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's, it's not really. Um, actually, the topic for today is about how I got my visa to come here in France. So yes, by the way, did I say I'm Filipino? Yes, I'm from Philippines, so I'm Filipino. <laughs> I'm Filipino. <laughs> so stay in and watch it, please. Thank you. <laughs> Last year, out of my boredom, I make a plan that I should move out from the Philippines. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Last year, we decided to come here in France and live here. Uh, the reason of that is because I had three children and two of them are going to school now. And I arrived here on February 8, 2020 during the coronavirus pandemic. Because I'm Filipino, in order for me to come here in France, I need to apply for a visa. And I have two French children, so I can apply for a familial visa. And I made an appointment through VFS in Manila, which is the visa facilitation service. And I got it scheduled for December 3, 2019. But because of the storm, it got cancelled and moved to December 5, 2019. And I have a daughter, she's American citizen. And in order for her to also come with us and live in France, she need to apply for a visa as well, like me. Because American can come to France without getting a visa. But if they have to stay for more than three months, they also need to apply for a long stay visa so that's what we do we flew to manila on december 5 and when we get there in bfs office um they make me change the application form of my daughter become familial to visitor because she isn't considered family member even though she's a sibling of my two french citizen children it took us two hours to do all of that do the photography fingerprinting and payments so it could be faster but <laughs> due to that stuff it was a little bit longer on december 12 2019 i received an email from vfs that the french embassy in manila is processing our application but they are requesting an additional documents from me and that is medical insurance or insurance mutual and not a Schengen insurance. <laughs> Copy of my children's father's passport, his income tax in France, his proof of residence, and his French bank statement. Of course, I did not provide all of that <laughs> because I was not expecting it because I applied for my visa through my children and I was financing myself with this application so I did not ask anything from the father of my children and also for the medical insurance I give them um Schengen insurance because it wasn't really clear to me what kind of insurance I should provide them so I asked the travel agency what kind of insurance I should provide to apply for a visa since I will be moving in France for more than 12 months and the girl from the travel agency told me that from their past customer experience they only submit a Schengen insurance so I bought it from them and reserve it for 500 peso and I also bought from them a reservation itinerary ticket for 500 peso as well so yeah in the past I always um do my visa application even until this time for this visa application that i did for france and anyway it was not a correct um insurance 
and the girl from the BFS check all our documents but she didn't tell me that it is a wrong insurance so I didn't know but I only have 48 hours to provide these documents so I emailed back um, BFS that it's hard for me to provide it within 48 hours because um, getting uh, insurance it's not that easy actually especially medical insurance so yes they told me just comply whenever I'm ready but it could cause a delay on my application and whenever I send them the lacking documents my application will revert to day one <laughs> so yes I wasted my whole day looking for an insurance company in Cebu and I accomplished nothing <laughs> that day and then during the day I lost my credit card had to call the bank and you know tell them that my credit card got lost and they need to replace it so they told me they will replace it when I get home I go to my computer and research more about insurance company the problem with the uh, medical insurance is it's so many out there and also very expensive depend on what you need so anyway by nine o'clock in the evening i found an insurance company and it cost 904 euro for me and my daughter by one o'clock in the morning i'm finished and i complete all the lacking documents that they asked me and i send it to bfs and i did it less than 48 hours so i'm happy for that but it's very very stressful even in the past when i process my visa application to canada and other country it's always very stressful and it costs money to process all this visa it is not cheap it's very expensive and yeah it's hard life but you know i live in the philippines and wherever i had to go especially in the first world country i need to apply for a visa actually the waiting time is the pan time no i'm joking of course not so <laughs> i waited for more than one month to hear from them so on january 11 we received our passport but actually i did not receive it my cousin is the one to receive it because I'm out of Cebu city. So um, she told me that we get a visa and I do not believe her because <laughs> she applied with us on December 5 and she got a denial letter from the French embassy in Manila. So I wasn't actually expecting to get a visa <laughs> because of her experience. So. I'm happy that I got it, but they gave me the visitor visa only for 12 months and it's a multiple entry serving as a resident permit in our stay in France. But the problem with that is I cannot work while I'm in France. So we left Cebu on February 7, but one week before that, I had to... Uh, change airlines because I actually bought a ticket from Shane Eastern which give us uh, 46 kilos luggages per person but uh, due to COVID I got paranoid so I cancelled that because Shane Eastern do have a layover in China so I don't want to go through that stuff so I cancelled that and bought a ticket uh, through Emirates but Emirates only give 25 kilos luggage and it is not enough so yes we arrived in Paris France on February 8 on February 16 I validate my visa in their website that they attach on my passport and registered it and pay the tax that cost 200 euro yes I paid to apply in Philippines 5940 but when we arrived in France when I validate my visa because I need to validate a visa to be valid in France and I supposed to get a medical 
exam schedule but I didn't get that until July 23rd 2020 because of the quarantine and the pandemic so I received a schedule for my medical examination on uh, July 23rd for August 6th one of the requirements for a medical exam is the vaccination record which I don't have because I live in a mountain in Maspate, so my parents didn't keep all my vaccination records since I was young. <laughs> oh, that's is hilarious. So I had to go to the doctor and got it done, had the blood test to know what type of vaccine I have in my body and I was alright except one vaccine. I was missing one vaccine. So the doctor here gave me a prescription to buy that vaccine and he gave it to me and he gave me a medical certificate that I'm all good for my vaccination so that's what I bring to uh, OFII in Marseille. OFII is a French Office of Immigration and Integration so I bring all the requirements that they ask it took me less than 30 minutes to do all of that medical exam. It was fast and the doctor was nice and gave me my medical certificate that I'm clear and healthy to stay in France. And I am supposed to give that um, medical certificate to the prefecture when I renew my visa on November. So because I received a visitor visa in Philippines, after the lockdown here in France, we went to the prefecture in Draguignan, which is the district administration where we lived in or is a government office. When we get there, the girl from the prefecture front desk took my passport and she went inside and she came back and she told me that the uh, French Embassy in Manila made a mistake of giving me a visitor visa. I supposed to have a familial visa since I had two French children. She told me that when I renew my visa on November, I can get a familial visa that I apply for. So in two months, I will be renewing my visa. I will update you guys what type of visa they give me. I'm still hoping for a familial visa because visitor visa is not good visa for me because if I have to work I cannot work with that type of visa thank you guys for watching please do subscribe and like and comment thank you very much and have a wonderful day bye bye Mwah.